Hello everyone, happy Monday. Oops, sorry. I just finished filming for tomorrow's video, obviously, which is why my studio lights are on. I've got a face of makeup um, and it's a good one. I'm doing some of these um, fabric lessons that I've been asked to do. I had a lot of people request uh, more information on different fibers and that kind of stuff. And I kind of thought I would sprinkle some of those throughout the year as we go through like maybe one a month. So um, for as long as I can <laughs> come up with different fabrics and fibers. Um, but yeah, so that is going up tomorrow, which you've already seen by the time you're watching this. So um, I've spent a lot of the morning on the phone, actually. My kids are finishing up today and tomorrow are their last instructional days of school. Um, and then they get to clean out their locker on Wednesday. So we're getting so close to the end. Um, so we finished that today. I've got some house cleaning that I'm doing. It's a very rainy day. Oh, there goes Gidget. Um, she's done. I think she's getting hot. <laughs> we haven't turned the air conditioning on yet. And the temperatures, I mean, they haven't been awful, but... Um, She's preferring to lie on the cooler linoleum floor, or not linoleum, um, what is that called? Laminate floor. <laughs> so anyway, am I talking about you? So anyway, I um, kind of, I do want to get some sewing done today. You know, I finished my Kimberly skirt yesterday and I would really, I do need to finish sewing or uh, filming the sew along for the two dresses, um, actual Kim Kimberly dresses I'm doing, but I also need to do a Kimberly Lisa hack. Um, so I think I may work on that today. I think I've been going through my fabric um, I've changed my mind on a couple of the fabrics that I put into my May Plans video for that um, dress, only because I want, think I want something a little more stable. Uh, so anyway, I think I have it picked out though. And it also depends if I have enough to do what I want to do with one of the sew along dresses. So I think I'm going to be working on um, that a little bit today, so I will definitely take you along. Um, I do have some computer work I need to go up to do and edit tomorrow's video and get that uploaded first. Um, but yeah, I will take you along on any sewing that I do today. Okay, hope you guys are having a great Monday. Um, it's pretty good over here. <laughs> okay, bye. Hi guys. It is a lot of talking in the background. It is uh, Tuesday and today, hi. Uh, today is our last day of instructional schoolwork. So technically school is finished on Thursday, but um, they're using Wednesday and Thursday as um, you have to have an appointment to go to the school. What do you need? You tell them I guess it's not here. I will. I will. Okay. okay. Bye now. <laughs> um, they're using Wednesday and Thursday. It's a, it's a clown show here right now. <laughs> Complete circus. Um, but they are using Wednesday and Thursday. You have to have an appointment to go clean out your lockers. So they're only allowing five kids per hall. Um, so that's like a sixth grade hall, seventh grade hall, eighth grade hall at a time. And there's like 1,500, I'm not even exaggerating, like 1,500 kids up at that school. Um, I mean, that's so many appointments. Everyone has a 10 minute slot. So um, anyway, we go tomorrow morning, 8, 10 and 8, 20. Um, so technically our school will be done tomorrow because we will have had our appointment, but appointments will be going all the way through Wednesday and all the way through Thursday. <clears throat> so everyone can get their stuff cleaned out and get books turned back in and all that, that good stuff. So anyway, it was, a. Uh, I mean, they still had assignments today. Like we, st they still did homework. I set up there, they had a test that they took. Um, they had a writing assignment they had to do, um, and then got everything else done, made sure that they had all their assignments turned in. And we're ending the quarter, uh, both of them are ending it very well with grades, so we're very pleased with that. <laughs> I'm pleased with that. So anyway, um, that's been today so far. So it is already almost 1.30, um, but today I thought that I would um, get my um, AK Patterns um, Lisa dress. I'll pop pictures of both these patterns up here so you can see them. The Lisa dress and the Kimberly dress. I'm going to do a mashup of those because those um, bodices and skirts are interchangeable. Um, she perf she uh, drafted them that way. And the differences between the bodices is technically the Lisa bodice is a sleeveless bodice. So um, I'm making the Kimberly sleeveless for the Kimberly, the sew along that I'm doing. But really, a sleeveless arm's eye is different than one that does have a sleeve. Uh, typically, a sleeveless arm's eye will come up on your shoulder a little bit more. Um, and it doesn't need the ease for the sleeve, like around the bottom, so it will fit, you know, a little bit better. Um, so the Lisa is the sleeveless one, and then obviously the Kimberly um, has the sleeve. Now, again, for the sew along, I'll be making one sleeveless and one with a sleeve. Um, you can kind of fudge it a little bit, which is what I'll be doing, but um, you can interchange. So the Lisa has like an A-line skirt on it, and then um, a little more than an A-line, 
a little bit more flared than A-line, but pretty close. And then the um, Kimberly has a fuller skirt. Maybe a half circle, maybe. Um, it's definitely fuller than Lisa. So anyway, I'm going to do a dress um, with the Kimberly bodice, and I'm going to put a short sleeve on it, uh, the V-neck with uh, the Lisa skirt on it, because I told um, Athena that I would do a mashup of those two as well for her blog. Um, so that's what I'm going to do uh, today. And then I'm also going to go ahead and get the uh, two complete Kimberleys all cut out for the sew along so I can finish filming that this week as well. I have a lot of filming to do because <laughs> I got to do some filming for the video on Friday. And then I actually have a sponsored video coming up next week, which is very exciting. Um, and I think it's going to be a really uh, a good video. I've got some good content that I'm going to be putting out a week from Friday. So that's kind of something exciting and something to look forward to. Um, but yeah, that's what we got going on today. Um, little Gidget, as my daughter walked in, <laughs> when I was talking about Gidget, is not here with us today. She is getting bathed and beautified. So she could be there for a long time today. Um, her fur, Gidget has very, Gidget is, um, we bought her from a breeder, but she has, uh, the breeder is a, um, a, a dog, a show dog, like that she breeds to show dogs. And then she will sell the dogs that um, don't meet the cut, basically. So the ones that have, you know, there's certain criteria that they have to fit in order to be able to be show dogs or whatever. Um, so Gidget didn't fit the criteria. Um, it's because of her spot on her head um, for, I guess, a true ruby can't have the white on her head like she does. So that um, disqualified her from being a show dog. <laughs> we'll take our goofy Gidget. Anyway, um, she has a gorgeous coat, a beautiful, beautiful coat, but it's really fine uh, hair and it mats if you look at it funny. Um, and I am just, you know, we brush it all of the time um, and I try and keep ahead of the mats, but I tell you what, it's just like all of a sudden I, you know, be scratching behind her ear and there's a mat that just like appears. So. Needless to say, the mats have gotten much worse because she's not been able to be groomed since February, the last time she had a bath or was groomed. And that's the other thing, I could have bathed her here at home, but she has so many mats that then I was like, well, I don't want to bathe her because I can't take care of the mats and I don't want them to get worse because then the hair is wet. Um, anyway, that's been my whole conundrum. And then I'm worried that she's uncomfortable because of the mats behind her ears and in other spots. Um, I, had a, I was having a lot of guilt about it. <laughs> But anyway, she got to go in today, and um, we're actually switching to her vet. So um, she was just going to PetSmart for her um, uh, baths and grooming, and I just haven't been pleased with what the, the job that they've done the past, really for the past year and a half. And our vet has opened up. They um, started a grooming salon there at the vet. So... Um, a little while ago and when we board her I have her <clears throat> bathed <clears throat> before we pick her up and I've been super impressed in February she was boarded and we went to um, Florida and when we picked her up she looked fantastic and it was just a it was just a bath so I decided we're gonna try that grooming salon um, going out going forward and of course they have like really strict um, stuff in place for the whole social distancing and the COVID stuff um, which makes me feel a little bit better as well. So we dropped her off. I have no idea how much this is gonna cost. It could cost a small fortune because we had to do a lot of add-ons um, just because of the state of her fur right now. So we'll see. I'll definitely uh, bring the camera back out when I go pick her up. Um, I would anticipate them calling. She's been there since eight o'clock this morning and it's 1.30. So I would anticipate that I'd be getting a phone call here um, sometime soon that she's ready to be picked up. Um, but I'll definitely show you what we got. I mean, she could, she possibly could have had to shave her though. I mean, the mats were just really, um, really bad. So we'll see what they were able to salvage. Um, yeah, anyway, so we'll take you back and show you that. But yeah, right now I'm going to just cut out this dress. So I'll take you over to the table and we will time lapse it. And I'm going to use, um, that white linen. I think there might be some rayon in it too, but the white that had the gray, um, stripe, it was like a panel or a, yeah, I would call it a panel print. Uh, anyway, I was looking at it for possibly doing um, the Pietras at one point, but I think I'm gonna do this Lisa dress, hopefully, if there's enough fabric. And I think I need to shorten the skirt some more. I've shortened the skirt two inches, but I think it needs to be a little bit more. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna take you over there. We're gonna cut out another Lisa dress, or a 
Lisa slash Kimberly dress. So it's the Lisa skirt with the Kimberly bodice. Um, because I'm going to put a sleeve on it. So let's go do that. Okay. Right. so there is my Kimberly bodice pretty much I mean it's finished other than um, it needs a zipper in the back but I obviously won't do that until I um, put the skirt on but I'm stopping for today only because I have a headache I feel like every time it starts to rain I get a horrible headache um, also keep in mind <laughs> I fill this out my mannequin does not she's much smaller than me so I've completely lined the bodice um, and I somewhat put it on my body without being able to fasten the back. And it seems that this neckline does n lie nicely on my body. So that's good. Um, I did the sleeves. I'm hoping that this doesn't add too much width across my body. Um, the short sleeve with the, uh, contrasting band, but this will be at the hips of the skirt. So I'm hoping that that's going to balance out my frame. Um, I was trying to be very strategic when cutting out the stripes on this. So obviously the back is still open and the lining has not been attached up here at the top because we still need to put that zipper in. But yeah, I'll be able to finish this dress pretty quickly tomorrow. So that's very exciting. Okay, so my battery is getting ready to die, but I wanted to show you someone's back from the groomer. Look how pretty she looks. Oh, the groomer did such a good job. She smells so good. She saved her ears. Um, we had to shave quite a bit back here because that's where her, her mats get really bad. But oh my gosh, she just looks so pretty. Oh, she looks so pretty. She looks like a cavalier. So I'm very pleased with the groomer. We'll definitely be going back there again. Um, okay, so that's all I have for today. It is uh, getting close to dinner time, so I'm going to be working on dinner. But tomorrow, yeah, we just have um, to go up to the school to clean out lockers. And then the rest of the day, I'm going to be able to sew. And I've got some, uh, the sew along to film. But I will take you guys along as I'm going to finish that dress first before I start filming the sew along. So I'll take you guys along on that ride. Okay, I hope you guys have had a wonderful evening. Um, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.